heavy setters Kyle Segura here with heavy set go and today I'll be sharing my journey from 372 pounds to finishing my very first 5k here is the footage Welcome back, heavy setters. So my journey, as I stated earlier, started at 372 pounds. I was completely unhealthy. I was not physically active at all. I had many issues um, health-wise that I had to deal with. And quite frankly, it was just hard to get around. I'm a teacher, I'm on my feet all day, and I would come home just out of my mind, tired because I was so big. It's tough carrying around 300 plus pounds, especially almost 400 pounds, okay? So it is what it is. I was 372 pounds at one point. At the same time, I was a heavy smoker. I smoked cigarettes for many years. I'm embarrassed of that. As, as an educator, I am most certainly embarrassed of that. But it's just a habit that I wasn't able to kick until this year. Although my journey began back in April, and that's a story for another day, my true weight loss journey here started at the end of July. July 29th. I was 372 pounds. I wasn't doing much to, to better that besides me quitting smoking. I gave up cigarettes. So that's a plus, right? I also gave up pop or soda pop for some of you, depending on where you're from. I'm from North Dakota, so I say pop. But that wasn't helping me too much with the weight loss. After giving up pop and not really eating better, I lost a few pounds. As a matter of fact, July 29th was the day that I started riding bike, walking, and um, started doing elliptical workouts. I weighed in that morning at 365 pounds. So I only lost seven pounds after giving up pop for about a month. Not much, I needed to do better. I needed to do better for myself, my wife, my family, my nieces, my nephews, my students. And so I did. Once I started walking and riding bike every single day, sometimes twice a day, that's when the weight started just falling off 
literally falling off. But it came to a time when my 5K walks four or five times a week and even cardio two times a day started slowing down. I wasn't getting that intensity that I needed to continue that weight loss. So I plateaued for a while. So I decided after six weeks of walking, six or seven weeks of walking actually, I decided to try out running. I've never been a runner. I've always made excuses as to why I couldn't run. Um, whenever I was younger, I, I did suffer from some lung issues um, in school. So I, I never really ran. My first run this year as a 33 year old man, I was barely able to run a quarter of a lap, one sixteenth of a mile. I was so heavy that my legs, ankles, just every joint from the hip down couldn't take it. I didn't give up though. I knew that I couldn't give up. It meant too much to me and to people around me to just, just let it go. So I started doing some research. It was difficult to find information for heavy runners like myself, which is why I made this channel. But I still got a lot of good information from many different YouTube channels and different YouTube personalities. Luckily, I was able to fix the very first problem that I had as a heavy runner. I needed a really good running shoe. I was running in New Balance 680s. That was not enough protection for my legs. I was pounding that ground a lot harder than probably anybody else I would know that would run being I'm 372 pounds heavier than anybody else I personally know right at that time I was actually 345 pounds uh, started running at 345 pounds but I found the Hoka One One Bondi 7 and I also picked up the Clifton 7 just because they're they're awesome right they are amazing shoes for heavy runners so that was part of my problem after picking up those shoes, it just it just took off from there. I started doing more and more stretching. I started adding strength and conditioning uh, for the bottom and up, uh, upper half. And everything has just been improving since. So I finally finished my very first mile without stopping uh, a few weeks back, about a month ago. And this was after about a week and a half of running. And then I started adding more and more distance. That's what you have to do. You have to add more and more distance. Otherwise you just plateau. So I did that. And then after sharing my newfound passion with my students, as I stated, it just took off from there as well. They thought of the idea of doing a spectacular 5k walk run for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And I just finished that today. 5k from 372 pounds I finished my very first 5k I couldn't even finish a 16th of a mile a month ago month just over a month ago so here's the deal I am here to help the other heavy runners out there that want to better their lives and they they want to run and continue running for better overall health and fitness. I am that guy. I am one of those people because I know there are others out there like me. And I will share my stories with you and I will share experiences throughout this journey. It's important for me to help others. As an educator, that's kind of my thing. I help others. That's what I do. So as you look through my photos throughout this journey just know that you do have a champion in me Kyle Segura with Heavy Set Go and I will be leading you to a healthy mind and a healthy heart thank you again have a good one